one more. He's got the Robo Bay up, but he already GG'd. He killed an Overlord. Well done, programmer. You killed an Overlord with your very expensive investment of flying machines. You killed one, well, supply building. And another one. Soon. Not going to wait for that, however. GG. Bada bing, 11 minutes in that game. This button. Yes, all right. Rock on you. Um, any who's it's. Um, so there we go. Until please do tell me if the lag isn't settling immediately. We have programmer playing the Protoss, and we have Miss Lord playing as the White Zerg. Yes, indeed. Let's see if there's. Wow, no lag. I do not understand why. But hey, let's not. You know what? Do some research. You've got time. But in any case, um, I was actually going to make, because I said I am always ready, as a very cheesy line, but the cheesiest line probably comes from, well, a soundbite I heard in the Rob Zombie album, which is from a woman, of course, so I'm, I'm sorry. But, um, I never try anything. I just do it. Wanna try me? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> All right, so we have another pylon going in uh, for programmer here, and let's see if it's going to take the form of something useful this time. I hope he realizes. Actually, I don't know if you can build on this. Probably can. Yeah, you can build on that. It's just decoration, man. Miss Lord is actually going straight away. Ooh, for the grass, the grass trick. Yeah. All right. Grass, green grass, green gas, gas trick, good. Um, Overlord speeding, look at this, speed lines, straight for the enemy base. So that's good. And there's also a probe scouting, and will it go the right direction? No, it will not. But whoa, we have another construction, and yet again we see the dual gateway. I hope I have told him, programmer. It's a good idea to expand at one point in the game, whereas the Zerg had done it three times. And also build some cannons for defense and not sit in your base waiting to die with your natural sitting there naked and unviolated. So, yeah, there you go. It is a good idea to clothe your mineral only before violating it with minor probes. I went there. There's two Zerglings already, or the hatchery already going up for the Zerg now. Also called Miss Lord, and we have four Zerglings actually going in. <gasps> and a stationary probe! His probing days are over. And he's destroyed by the scouting Zerglings. Anywho, this has alerted. Program somewhat. Sending one Zealot out to die in the wilderness, and the other one to block the gap that isn't quite blocked. And now we have some Zerglings going in to have some fun with the Zealot. Hopefully some will pop outside of these buildings soon. Actually, the Zerglings are rather pansies. And, oh, the Zealot, cowardly Zealot, will not be cowardly and kill Zergling and be damaged with it. Goody. Now, chasing Zergling. Excitement. Anyway, we have a third hatchery, so similar to the previous one. Three hatch with a lot of Zerglings. Also have an overlord looming dangerously, doing absolutely nothing but staring at the robotic little probes. And there we have, one zealot goes down and the other one is sure to follow, because it takes four zerglings to kill a zealot. Oh look, and actually one actually made it there, so there's actually enough, enough fine number of zealots here, but they are going to get throbbed down and the Sunga Colony is gonna pop any second. There you go, so move into the base, do move in the base, move in the base, move in the base, kill the Zergling, lose the Zealot, good, good, good. 
And now, ooh, outside of the range of the sunken colony, these two zealots might actually die simultaneously to the zerglings. Wow. So that didn't quite work out. Programmer now needs to, well, not plant a cannon inside his main, but plant a cannon down to his city. So he can actually defend against what's going to come next. I must say that programmer is very brave to actually ask me to be here when this happens. Sort of like a dying parent asking for his children to be there right when he's getting euthanized. But, okay, it's very brave, nevertheless. Because he knows he's crap, but he's actually taking my advice, planting down a fucking cannon, so he doesn't get completely gobbled up right away. But, we again see Mr. Lord heavily investing into the Zerglings, but with that cannon there, it's actually going to be a little different. No! No! You place cannon behind defenses, so it doesn't get closeted. Okay. And another one. Stupid decision. Not good. Not good. Hindlisk soon will invade upon your cannons and kill them very, very quickly. But it's the thought that counts. Now, however, he does have a cybernetic score. I do hope he also follows the example, my well, advice of expanding somewhere before the 30 minute mark. But, okay, we do have a third, and now with gas from Mist Lord. And we have a host. Oh, yeah! I forgot! Oh! This is Moonglaive, which means. You have a second entrance. He's actually noticed it. He noticed it. There's a second entrance to the base. And there's a lot of Zerglings wanting to exploit that little fact in this map. So there's a second entrance to this map here. Well, you all know this. Uh, and many Zergling will be inserting themselves upon the back door. Okay, so we're just waiting for that to happen. But we will have some... PP. That means paused, paused. We will paused, paused. It does not mean he's going for a PP break. It just means pause, p -p please. And I believe if you use PPP, it's pardon, pause, please. Please pardon, pause. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. We have nice, great, I'm alive and it's been two minutes, so that's a victory in my book. Actually, been six minutes. minutes. I can't type. Three times as happy. <laughs> Ooh. My advice being, well, he did the cannons, that's good. But fucking expand! It's been six minutes! Stork would have had the map by now. I hope Mist Lord isn't planning on doing any minor surgery or something while we're waiting. Let's see how things are going. That's gonna be a Hydra Den. There's the. Four hatches, which means four hatch hydra, which means programmer doesn't have long to live. Because what's going to happen is these zerglings are going to sit nice and tightly. And 
And, uh, yeah, so, I do hope he realizes, I'm fucking casting this! But, anyway. Um, yeah. We have the Zerglings are going to insert themselves here, and we have Hyralisks who are going to mess up here, and... Anyway, we have two buildings, we can only guess our two cannons, hope not, I hope it's going to be, oh god, it's going to be a pylon and a stargate, isn't it? Do-do-do-do-do-do. 